The joyful mysteries of the rosary focus on the incarnation and the hidden life of Jesus. In the Annunciation, we see Our Lady open to the will of God. Her yes transforms all of salvation and world history. She teaches us the rhythm of the yes in the small things and great things of our daily lives and in the crossroads of our lives. In the visitation, we see Our Lady's generosity to her extended family, visiting her elderly cousin Elizabeth. We see that John the Baptist leaps in Elizabeth's womb as Our Lady, pregnant with Jesus, approaches. It's almost as if it's a greeting to our Lord. And we see in that the importance of a great sensitivity to the presence of Christ. The visitation, too, is, reminds us about our families and to be an instrument of divine mercy within our families, to reach out to those who are suffering, who are sick, the elderly in our families, the spiritually, emotionally wounded of our families, and also to reach out to the poor and the suffering within the, our family of the church, our family of the world. The third joyful mystery is the Nativity, the birth of our Lord. And we marvel with the shepherds, with the wise men. We adore the Christ child, this poor vulnerable baby who enters human history and turns the tables on human expectations. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the way, the truth, and the life of all things. Then at the presentation, the fourth joyful mystery, we see the poignant story of the elderly Simeon and Anna in the presentation at the temple. Simeon and Anna are, are Old Testament figures who experience in the presentation of the Christ child the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy and expectation. They are reminders to us to revere the elderly in our, in our midst, their wisdom, the gift they are to us, to the church, and to the world. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. And we see that our Lord is about his father's business. Mary and Joseph are confused. But Mary and Joseph model for us the importance of seeking very beautifully, very consistently, at every moment, the presence of Christ in our lives. We see the foreshadowing of our Lord proclaiming the, the scrolls in the temple where he says at the end, today this passage is fulfilled in your hearing. The joyful mysteries and the rhythm of the joyful mysteries teach us to radiate the joy of the gospel and the joy of a creative intimacy with Jesus Christ at the heart of our Catholic Church.